Hello, what I'm going to do today is take this radiator off the wall the traditional way. What I mean by the traditional way is to drain the water out of the radiator. Now how you do this, you close off the valve both sides uh, to isolate from the system and then undo this captive nut here between the valve and the radiator and try and get something underneath there to catch the water, which can be problematic in itself. Um, but I'm going to show you now a further problem can arise when you actually think you've drained the radiator and you want to take it off the wall. Right, we're at the point now where the radiator has been disconnected. It's disconnected this end and it's also disconnected at the other end and we've uh, drained the water out of the radiator. So I'm now ready to lift the radiator off the wall. But I'm going to show you what can happen when you think you've drained the radiator. Now I'd like you to take special note of this because this can actually happen to you and it can cause a lot of damage. So I'm going to lift it off and place it on, place it on this block of wood here. If you see there now, you think the radiator is drained and that's what can actually come out causing hundreds of pounds of damage. So that carpet now is ruined. I'm now going to show you the better way of doing this. So this is the alternative. It's called the rack clamp system and the rack clamps are designed to clamp the water in the radiator so you can actually take the, the radiator off the wall with the water still inside. However, should you have to drain the radiator, if it's going to be too big and too heavy with the water inside, then you can part drain the radiator, but you still need to fit the rack clamps after. Because if you take it off and you think you've drained the radiator completely, you've seen what can happen previously. Another advantage of using the rack clamps is once you've finished your work behind the radiator, whatever you was doing, you can refit the radiator, reconnect it and keep the water, the inhibitors in the radiator and reintroduce them into the system. And of course there's no refilling necessary. Now I'm now going to show you what happens when I set the radiator off as previously with the rad clamps fitted. So that's the difference when you take the radiator off using the rack clamp method. Choice is yours. Thanks for watching.